the empty pretty. The song comes from a crying red rose. The story comes from a dying candle. And love comes from a last lullaby. Fools sing wise songs. Fools dream of lovers. Fools star at the empty pretty. It's only our dreams that sing. It's only our dreams that tell. It's only our love that dreams. The red roses had once been on the long cherry table, and the golden moonlight had once shone through the great crystal punch bowl. And great plans had once been made. Newly bought dinner settings were placed on a magnificent crocheted tablecloth. The tablecloth took the sisters a year to make. It had all the president's heads floating around its borders, including newly elected Calvin Coolidge. In the center of the table was the cake with a map of Tennessee. It was a work of art with its red, white, and blue icing. It had the Liberty Bell in Memphis. It had the Statue of Liberty in Nashville. And it had walking horses in Tri City. All the food was brought on a special L and N morning train from New York City. The head chef of the Waldorf came along to prepare the food for the party. And when the starlight began their first dance on a new ballroom floor, the piano player started to play Tennessee One Hop, a dance that he had written for the party. Hot. Tears from the half-used candle slowly dripped on the tablecloth because no one had come to dance. But the piano player played on. The stars and a light snowfall mixed with the sisters' tears. But their father just sat smoking in his great armchair. Suddenly he raised his fist and screamed, "How dare they not come!" Then his fist came down on the cake. Right through Liberty's crown, as he carefully wiped the cake from his hand, he got up from his great armchair and started screaming. Everyone out. When all had gone, he calmly locked all the doors to the great house and gave the keys to his daughters. He said nothing when he walked out the wide crystal doors, never to return. For fifty years, the sisters lived in the great decaying house. They danced alone, but the rooms and each heart heard the sounds of their empty hearts and party. And a week ago, the golden crystal punch bowl sat once more on the long cherry table. When the auctioneer's fist come down for the third time, he said, "Sold to the nice lady on the front row." Who is going to have one fine party?